sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel so it had kindly smash that subscribe button turn on your notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i'm saying massive shout out to every one of you for the love the support you all shower me here with i am grateful and you all are super sweet so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a video a palm colored woman made and she is saying asking people do you all remember when BL like black life matters burned down the entire country and now no not just only that did they burn down the country now they are supporting um Hamas group and i am asking wait even it shows that she is smoking because if you look from the video you can see the cigarette the fire that is coming out from so so she is probably holding her cigarette and uh, then talking off point now they are trying to push this narrative that black people is supporting the Hamas group when black people only is rendering their voices for palestine right telling israel to stop what they are doing to palestine because israel is okay the oppressor acting like people are the one oppressing them you know and there was a, 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 a joe biden's this uh, interview that i watched yesterday and then i found out where most of black people's uh tax money is going to they are using all your tax money to sponsor so many things going down there and now i am going to say this please do not purchase anything from starbucks disney cancel your subscription and then mcdonald's because they are major sponsor of everything going on in uh in uh israel i mean enough of all this bullshit and all this agenda propaganda they are pushing and are trying to make black people look like black people are the ones like you know supporting all this and all that when black people are out there rendering their voices and calling them all out on the things they are doing to palestine and now all she could do is come back to say that black life matters is a terrorist group let's get into this video do y'all remember when blm burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice well the organization has now come out in support of hamas terrorists I guess they meant it when they said all lives didn't matter because some lives are clearly worth more than others. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has never- Remember when it was discovered that it was actually a bunch of far right infiltrators and agitators who were burning down buildings and starting confrontations with police officers? Remember when it was actually the FBI infiltrating Black Lives Matter in Denver? Remember when it was actually black people telling non-black people to not vandalize things in the name of Black Lives Matter? No, of course you don't remember these things. You conveniently forget because it doesn't push your bullshit agendas. Mm. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has now come out in support of Hamas terrorists. I guess they meant it when they said all lives didn't matter, because some lives are clearly worth more. So let's see how long this lie has been going on, shall we? This is from two years ago. Two years ago. But wait, I want to show you something. You can pause and read it if you want to. It's funny how Fox News is always in the middle of some bullshit, isn't it? But wait, she's not talking about two years ago, Thomas. She's talking about a couple of days ago, right? Would you like to see what Black Lives Matter Chicago actually put out? Would you? That's it. There it is. Right there. Anybody see anything involving Hamas in there? Do you, do you see anything in there that says, I stand with Hamas? She must be one of those sort of people that can't distinguish when somebody says free Palestine and when people are supporting Hamas, right? Right? That has to be it. That has to be. She's equating Hamas with the Palestinians. Hmm. Interesting. Because according to BLM Global, they have no affiliation with BLM Chicago. So that's three lies I just caught her in. Three of them. I, by George, I do believe that young lady just lied. But that's okay. 
Professor Villain's here to fix it. How about that? Let's start with the first line, the very first part of that video. Can you name me the cities that BLM destroyed? What cities are no longer here? I would wait, but I only have 10 minutes in this video. So, what city no longer exists because of the BLM racial riots since BLM burned down the nation? Y'all have been trying to get that one off since 2022 or 2020. It's funny how that works, isn't it? It seems like you guys just like lying. But we'll get to that. Secondly, are you trying to equate the Palestinian people with Hamas? Hmm. But you'd be the same person that would get really, really mad if somebody equated all Israelis with the Israeli government, now wouldn't you? considering the fact that there have been massive rallies by Israelis in Israel against Benjamin Netanyahu. So you'd only, only a fucking fool would equate the actions of the government with the people. So when somebody says they stand with Palestine, why would you automatically think that they stand with Hamas? Hmm. Why would you and the Anti-Defamation League and people like that, why would you stand and think that someone who says they stand with Palestine automatically stands with Hamas? Are you trying to equate Hamas with the um, Palestinian people? Hmm. Sounds a little bit sketchy to me. And thirdly, <laughs> this is the part I love the most. Why are y'all trying to peddle the same lie you peddled two years ago? Why? I mean, in a way, it shows that these incidences have been happening a lot more than we care to remember, considering the fact that you could say that exact same lie about BLM supporting Hamas that was said two years ago. And if you're talking about the, the lie you just told just now, well, that's an obvious lie because they didn't say they stood with Palestine. I mean, with uh, Hamas. They said they stood with Palestine. You know, I understand the low education, low IQ, low fruit, low hanging fruit people will listen to you. And because you're wearing goth makeup, they'll think, oh my God, the cute girl said something smart. And you will get those allies who we wanted to get out in the open anyway because we knew they weren't here for us in the first place. But it's funny. People like yourself call BLM a terrorist organization. I mean, who else would be burning down the nation, right? A terrorist organization. And you would automatically assume that when somebody stands with the Palestinian people, they also stand with a terrorist organization. So what exactly are you trying to say about BLM? What are you trying to say about the Palestinian people? Hmm. It's almost as if you are equating brown people with terrorism. That couldn't possibly be it, could it? Could it? You couldn't possibly be doing that, right? I mean, you try to come off as intelligent, even though the very first thing out of your fucking mouth was an absolute stupid fucking lie, but you try to come off as intelligent, so there's no way in hell you would be doing that, now would you? Equating BLM with burning down the nation, and then equating BLM with supporting Hamas, when in actuality they're supporting the Palestinian people, and they're also supporting peace in Palestine. You understand what that also means, right? peace, living in harmony, Arabs and Israelis. But I guarantee you, you never asked anybody what they mean when they say I stand with Palestine, have you? Wow. To catch somebody in a blatant ass motherfucking lie in 4D, because this is a 4D phone, it's just, it's amazing. It's, 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 it's HD, excuse me. Um, it is absolutely amazing to watch y'all twist yourselves into knots, trying your damnedest to turn an organization in America you don't like and a group of people 
in Israel, Palestine that you don't like into terrorist. Hmm. Funny. That is really a tragic kind of circumstance. It's a tragic twist of fate, but not really. Because, like I said before, you tried to peddle that lie two years ago. It didn't work then. Why are you thinking it would work now? Hmm. But anyway, I'm glad I am here to educate you because what we're finding out more and more is that those people who didn't like an organization that actually thinks my life matters, who are also all about bombing Muslim people, because I would think that's the only thing that would, you know, equal in this whole idea of Palestinian equal Hamas is the fact that they're Muslim. But I love the fact that y'all are exposing yourself on a nearly minute by minute basis. So like I said, you'll get the low information, low hanging fruit people because you're pretty. But you'll also get those allies out in the open. All I have to do is look in your comment section of this video and it will tell me all I need to know about anybody who follows you listens to that, agrees with it, and follows me. So, thank you. Thank you for making my job easier. You flat out lied. But I know. Taking responsibility for that. <laughs> where they do that at, huh? Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Oh, my God, Why? Why does this stupid lie still persist? No, we don't remember. Because um, it never happened. But yet, this continued extreme exaggeration about what happened still is floating on the internet. And I don't know what it's going to take to stop the nonsense. In reality... It wasn't even the protesters that did it. It was white supremacists who did it to try to get BLM people in trouble. But you all don't remember that part conveniently. Do you all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? No, nobody remembers it. And going off how I went through all of your videos to find you talking about how the whole country had been burnt down and I couldn't find anything you don't remember it either. It's almost like it didn't happen. But I did find this. Today I want to tell you why I don't support the Black Lives Matter movement, but I ask that you actually listen to this and not just assume that I'm a white supremacist or a bigoted conservative. I don't support Black Lives Matter as an organization because none of the money actually goes to bettering black community. You see, that's you. Associating Black Lives Mattering, my life mattering, with an organization and saying that the reason you don't like it isn't because they burnt down the country, but because of money. Now, my memory ain't what it used to be, but I can tell you one thing. I remember how often white supremacists use that talking point. And I'm reminded constantly of how much pro-Israel people use the same talking points as white supremacists. But maybe my memory is just bad. Watch this, and I'll be back. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Do I remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Let me think. No. And I guess that has a lot to do with human beings being unable to remember shit that didn't happen. Well, the organization has now come out in support of Hamas terrorists. Well, except for the fact that they didn't, there was this one unfortunate tweet from Black Lives Matter Chicago, which I will admit is in pretty poor taste. But they have since deleted the tweet and said this. Yesterday, we sent out messages that we aren't proud of. We stand with Palestine and the people who will do whatever they must to live free. Our hearts are with the grieving mothers, those rescuing babies from rubble, 
who are in danger of being wiped out completely. I shouldn't have to point this out, but here we are. Palestinians and Hamas are not the same thing. Supporting humane treatment of the Palestinians is not the same thing as supporting Hamas. And I also want to point out that was only Black Lives Matter Chicago. That was not every member or supporter of Black Lives Matter. I guess they meant it when they said all lives didn't matter because some lives are clearly worth more than others. Yes, that's clearly what they meant when they said Black Lives Matter. Nothing gets by you, does it? Or maybe you're just echoing the same sentiment from Christopher Rufo, the same man who created the CRT scare. And as I mentioned earlier, Black Lives Matter did not burn the country to the ground, nor did they launch 5,000 missiles into Washington, D.C. Last I checked, they never took any hostages either. Hamas is a terrorist organization, while BLM would not exist if we lived in a true and just society where law enforcement did its job the way it's supposed to. Well, anyway, this has been Doc for Diesel Punk Industries, correcting you on just a few tiny things you may have gotten wrong. Thanks for watching, and as always, Crunchy White, pimp forever. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has now come out in support of Hamas terrorists. I guess they meant it when they said all lives didn't matter, because some lives are clearly worth more than others. Well, first of all, I went on the Black Lives Matter website. I don't see any mention of anything happening in Israel, Gaza, anything. I went on the Black Lives Matter Instagram, nothing. They haven't made a single statement. I'm not sure where you got this information from. You didn't get it from nowhere. You pulled it out your ass. In fact, I know where you got it from, but like, this is factually. Not only is it factually incorrect that Black Lives Matter <laughs> made a statement supporting Hamas, but the Zionists are associating anybody who makes a statement in support of Palestinian people with terrorism, which is very intentionally manipulative. Um, and just, I'm not surprised that people who are Zionists are also racist because why are you bringing, bringing Black people into this unprovoked? I don't know. And how the hell did black people burn down uh, the cities in the name of racial, racial justice um, when, hello, I'm in New York right now. Everything is perfectly fine. Stationary, up, running. There's no such thing happened. Like, again, pay attention to the things that these people are saying. And by these people, I mean Zionist. It is, they're saying the quiet parts out loud. Something is wrong with y'all. A couple screws is loose. Okay. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? No. Because that literally never happened. What the f- Why is it that whenever a Jewish creator makes a video about Israel, people comment free Palestine? That's a great question. Maybe it's the same reason when you make your videos as a Jew, you bring up black people. Because in this video right here, while you were swinging your side ponytail, you had a lot to say about Black Lives Matter. Girl, we don't have to support you, your malnourished upper lip, or your fucking side ponytail. You fucking hypocritical ass trick. And you say you're in law school? What is that law school going to think when they see your videos calling black people monkeys and cotton pickers? You called us blackies. Not directly, but it was it was implied. No matter how bright it is out there, I still see your white ass right through you. Now super spin that side ponytail and fly the hell out of here. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has never... Oh yeah, that was awful. I also remember when BLM was burning down churches, but when people were trying to get the synagogues, they were stopped and told, no, we don't touch the synagogues. We leave the temples alone. Funny, huh? Funny how that part's left out. Do y'all remember when George Soros had special debit cards to pay the rioters? No? Funny, because I do. I remember that. Special little debit cards, almost like those prepaid cards. That's how they get paid. Do you remember how a bunch of New York Upper East Side families were upset that their kids were participating in those riots? That they that was like their side job.
they were getting jobs doing that? No? Funny, because I remember. Do you also remember the shocking news when you would see the BLM protesters or rioters and how most of them weren't even black? They were white? White youths? No? Funny, because I remember that too. Interesting how they switched the narrative around. This PR machine of theirs is really something else. But I think people are starting to remember the actual facts of the past. Instead of getting pumped up full of Jada Pinkett Smith BS, Britney Spears BS, and what other PR BS they're going to come out with to distract you. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Stop using a genocide to justify your anti-blackness. In this video and in another video, you pulled straight from the propaganda book and pulled from the tenets of white supremacy. And who, who from the Black Lives Matter movement is pro Hamas? I've seen a plethora of black people and you just look at us and just say, yeah, they're, they're Black Lives Matter. They're, 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 they're the movement. They're the organization. Fun fact. There are black people who don't associate with either. Who knew that we weren't a monolith? But I digress. I've seen a plethora of black people on the side of Palestinians and not wanting a genocide to occur. But you don't care about that. Per usual, anti-blackness will be utilized to push forth hatred and unaliving and destruction. As we're told, everything isn't about race. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has never- No, um- no, I don't remember that. I I do not recall. What I remember is a Target and a fucking police station, a few cars. But as far as like the US of A in ruin, no, I didn't. I don't remember that. I feel I, I was here. I feel like I would have remembered that. But what I do remember are people showing up to the protest who were against BLM, but not actually participating in the protest. And they would break windows. They would, you know, start fires, instigate fights, and then leave the scene. So it's interesting that you're blaming all of BLM for the violence and destruction that you saw. It's interesting to hear you exaggerate in a way that kind of makes it sound like our uprising was an overreaction your tone and your verbiage to how african americans responded to their oppression is sending a very clear message it's that you don't think it was justified you don't think it was that big of a deal for us to react that way you minimize and disregard an oppressed group's pain and hurt and trauma and all that stuff and then make it sound like they're the problem this is a common attitude and tactic that we saw with a lot of problematic figures in the past. Keep that in mind. BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice. Well, the organization has now come out in support of Hamas terror. Babe, that's what we call propaganda because that's not true. Um, I don't know who you're tricking with this, you know, racist probably, but you know, that's what we call propaganda. Why don't you just say you're a Zionist? Actually, I don't even know what you are, um, but you are a Zionist and just say that. But anyway, I did my hair yesterday and I think I did a pretty good job this time. Like I really focused or whatever, you know, um, but yeah, bullshit. She's what she's saying. Is Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has now. Every single time you guys support black people, there's always some sort of um, strings attached to it. 
we are condemning Zionism. We're not condemning Judaism. We're saying free Palestine because of the the people who are occupying their land and killing them and trying to steal it from them for the past 75, however long. That's what we're talking about. Your activism always comes with strings. The fake allyship, posting those black squares on your Instagram. I'm doing the work. And then you say stuff like this. I would, I would have thought that some of you would understand exactly what Israel is doing to those people because it was done to you. I would have thought that you would have, of all people, should understand that more than anybody else should understand that. But you obviously, you want to pretend that you don't understand. You do. We do not want to participate more than we already are in terms of taxpayer money to help you genocide a whole group of people. We don't want to be part of that. Our money is already going over there to, to buy bombs and, and, and who knows what else. We don't want to participate in that. And black liberation groups have always, every single one of those people have always supported Palestine. Malcolm X, Angela Davis, every single one. So keep your shit. I don't even know how to end this, man. Like, free Palestine. Do y'all remember when BLM burned down the entire country in the name of racial justice? Well, the organization has now... Wow, isn't this rice calling rice white? Mm-mm-mm. So sad. To some people, ignorance is so bliss. Ooh, well... My culture. So this is all I got from this. And uh, I mean, this video has so many stitches, so many stitches. But I decided to pick like a very few. Number one is that she actually knew that she is lying and it is very obvious. And she, they already see that uh, black people are in support of Palestine, right? And they are also, uh, I mean, like, you know, putting up their voices out there. I mean... I see a whole lot of people, especially black people, raising their voices and using their platform to like, you know, to update people. And that is so beautiful. I mean, a very big shout out to every one of you. I know you all are always out for people, even though most people don't always stick up for you. But as we all can see what is going on between Israel and her Palestinians, you all can see that the genocide they are committing, it's so horrible. Like it's very, it's out of hand. And black people are out there, I mean, giving their own support. And all they can do right now is to like, you know, put so many propaganda because that is what they know how to do best. I mean, if Black Lives Matters uh, burn down things and all that, well, it looks like we are also very quick to build up the things we burn down because if we burn down things, of course, those things we burn down will still be there waiting for things to be fixed. But uh, if, she, like she said, that we burn them down and we were also able to fix it. Like when you go to a uh, Black Lives Matters uh, platform and all that, you are going to see that they did not even update anything. But what people are doing is they are using their individual platform to to push also the truth because it looked like uh, okay, the truth is that uh, they have been, the media have been really lying to people about this whole thing. Not until people decided to educate themselves and started reading and started like, you know, listening to other people talk about it. And they've understood that Israel, they've been the one, like, you know, doing all the horrible things and making Palestine look like they are the bad guys. And when they are the bad guys, there was a news I watched yesterday about uh, Biden. And I am so, I was so disappointed. I mean, this man has been really lying so much about what is going on. 
And you all knew that yesterday they bombed Hamas, I think Gaza or something. I mean, the hospital and all that. And uh, a lot of kids on alive. And guess what he said? He said it looks like it's where the uh, it was the other party, that it was the other party doing all this. And I shake my head. Like we are all doomed. Like all these people, we really cannot trust them, not even for a minute, not even for a second. I mean, for him to come out on national TV to say something like this, I am totally disgusted that people are saying the truth. They know the truth, but they decided to lie and push different narrative out there for people to consume. And the one that I also learned about is that they are also paying people. They are paying platforms, celebrities to speak ill of Palestine and let them be the let people praise them. It is amazing how the oppressor is acting like he is the oppressed oppressed like we are the ones oppressing them or palestinians are the ones oppressing them and the fact that united states is also their huge back up really sucks and to tell you that most of you see where most of your tax money is going your tax money is going to where they buy some boom 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 pew 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 and the rest that is what they are using your tax money to do sponsoring other uh, countries and nations and all that this is where i am gonna draw the cut and see you all in my next video bye for now